So, um, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We just need uh, one more uh, yeah. thing on the stage. of the equipment. Yes. And we'll be ready to, to go. Okay, Mariusz, I can the start. floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Marek. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the smart city uh, programs system are um, configured for uh, special for ec uh, effective uh, management of uh, municipal infrastructure and public spaces designed for um, business, for citizens, of course, uh, for tourists, but also for a local government. From our perspective, these technologies have to be, above all, secure. One of the smart city flagship projects in our city is Katowice Intelligent Monitoring and Analysis System called Kismia. Let me elaborate briefly on this project. The analog video monitoring system has been operating in Katowice since 2001. On residents' request, the, the camera numbers uh, increased. And the, mm, the old, uh, the analog uh, system was not integrated and required the involvement of many operators. At that time, we decided to create a new intelligent system. And in 2016, uh, at the cost of nearly 3.5 million euros, the Kismia project was launched. Today, 274 cameras operated in it. The biggest innovation of this system are camera uh, analytics that recognize unusual events such as um, breaking traffic ban, uh, stolen object, uh, illegal parking, uh, crowd, uh, devastation or lying men. Uh, the Kismia helps us also uh, detect many uh, illegal issues because it can read, recognize the license plates on the cars uh, uh, and uh, enabling effective interventions. The system is built in three elements, installed and configured in a uh, virtual VM-aware environment. The whole process from uh, recording uh, the, the, the image is divided into four steps. As a result, a camera analysis, the monitoring operator can see on his own screen uh, the alert generated by the mentioned analytics. Then the operator verifies the particular uh, alert and can decide uh, whether to inform the security service about the problem. How does Kismia work? Depending on the location, the camera point consists of uh, different external devices, uh, camera, sensor, uh, speaker, and teletechnical box like this one here, which uh, the external devices, mentioned uh, devices, are connected to. The teletechnical box contains uh, among others, uh, network switch, UPS, electronic equipment, and uh, net, uh, of course, uh, environmental uh, sen sensors and uh, network uh, infrastructure elements. The signal from this uh, teletechnical box uh, is transmitted via this teletech. Uh, this, excuse me. The the signal from these external devices via this teletechnical box uh, is uh, uh, generated and transmitted to the data center using Silesianet. And this uh, data center 
the signal goes uh, to the three Kismias elements uh, presented earlier. We have been, uh, so we have been uh, constantly working on the expanding of uh, our system. Recently, we have added a new functionality. They are uh, air quality sensors. Right now, we, we are taking a big step to, to in, into the develop uh, of our system. And uh, mm, Kismia 2.0, the next project, will be extended with fluid uh, sensors, with uh, water forecasts, and uh, with uh, traffic uh, intensity. As a result, our system will be able to predict future phenomena and mm, to warn uh, city, uh, city services about possible danger. The whole system which is presented to you today is supplied with uh, air quality sensors. Every day, 127 uh, sensors measure, uh, of course, um, air pollution, um, temperature, uh, pressure, humidity, and so on. And this uh, measurement results are present on 154 screens located in the, uh, inside of the uh, different uh, public uh, buildings in the city, on the website and on the mobile devices. The system plays also uh, educational role and in the future uh, will enable to predict level of air pollution. Presented system is well secured, but we are aware of the consequences of cyber attack. Thanks to the collaboration between uh, Katowice City Hall and Cyberus Labs, we could test the pilot implementation, the Elliot Pro system, into the Kismia. You will see the result of our cooperation in a moment. Marek, please present us the Elliot Pro system. The floor is yours. Thank you, Marius. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, of course, as has been said, uh, uh, in order for smart city systems to fulfill their missions, they have to be secure from the first place. And that was our mission of Cyber Labs to provide a breakthrough end-to-end -end cybersecurity solutions for any type of uh, smart system or smart network. Uh, Elliot Pro has been built on the basis of our first system, uh, which was called CybersKey, which was password-free, multi-factor user authentication, and it was launched in 2017 uh, at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Uh, within two years, we decided to, and we actually today we can show that we have accomplished our mission, to take the password-free authentication concept also to the world of IoT, because as we know, uh, today not only users have a, a problems with passwords, but also devices. So Elliot Pro uh, protects the IoT networks on the three different levels, on uh, human to machine, uh, communication and authentication, uh, machine to machine, also password free, uh, communication and encryption, uh, which is supported by our proprietary lighter encryption that was specially designed for the simplest uh, IoT uh, smart devices that have limits in computational power, in memory, or uh, energy uh, consumption. And system is also uh, equipped in rules engine that with the help that we're going to show you in, his, in a minute how it works. Uh, with the help of flight envelope, we control entire network, we monitor, we detect uh, um, any cyber incidents, uh, malfunctions of the systems, of devices, but um, it's also equipped with an AI-based uh, self-healing mechanism that, uh, you, that using MTBF methodology is uh, providing uh, just-in-time servicing replacement um, capabilities 
to, uh, to entire system. Uh, the Elliot Pro is agnostic in terms of uh, communication protocol or IoT platform. But the most important thing to, for us was always user authentication. So let me just briefly show how it works. You don't need to put any more passwords, any username, nothing. You just need the mobile app, uh, which is uh, already in listening mode. What I do, I just click on a, a button on a Yes, and the second factor that has been introduced, and you're logged in. There are already, this is already two-factor authentication. So if, I, if you can see on the screen, uh, we have login to uh, system owner dashboard where you have listed uh, devices. You can check their status, uh, MTBF, uh, all the information. And if, for example, there will be, uh, <coughs> there will be any disconnecting of the service, of the device, which can be, for example, one type of the, of the attack, you will see uh, the status of the device that has been disconnected right now. And you have also, you see also the notification on the mobile, uh, on the mobile app. As Mariusz has said, one of the crucial elements of, for the Kismia is CCTV uh, camera monitoring. So uh, again, <coughs> one of the most important thing uh, in the access to such a sensitive uh, pack of data, which, uh, which is the uh, city monitoring, is to make sure that only authorized uh, users will be able to access the sensitive information. So again, we are logging into monitoring system with just one click with uh, our mobile app. And you logged in, and if you can bring me the, the screen back from my laptop, there you see yourself, right? So this is fully live, it's now mock-up. So you have been right now monitored by the service. And only Marius, as an as a authorized uh, person from the city hall, is able to see uh, the video signal. But let's see what happens if someone else wants to even if has a permission to log in into, uh, into dashboard, into system owner, but doesn't have actually uh, the permission to, uh, to see the, the video. So oh, I'm trying okay. to log in into the system again. Okay, I'm logged in, but look what happens <coughs> on the screen. I'm not authorized to access the signal. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, because we are very limited in time uh, in terms of presentation of how, how system uh, Elliot Pro works and Teletechnic Box, we just wanted to present you just a few glimpses uh, and uh, some of the features of uh, Teletechnic Box uh, and, uh, <coughs> and our system integrator. And we cordially invite you to see us at the city of Katowice Expo area, where you will be able to see not only the, all the features of Teletechnic Box uh, supported by Elliot Pro, but also other um, <coughs> Elliot Pro's uh, implementations uh, in the industry 4.0, in the smart buildings, uh, use cases. So for now, I thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you later at our stand. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.